Exelon's announcement has far-reaching effects. Michelle Rave joins us in the studio. Michelle, people who talk with you say they're blindsided by the news. That's right, Eric and Mimi. Current and former employees, along with Byron residents, say they were sad to hear the Exelon Byron power plant would be officially closing its doors. The announcement that the Exelon power generating station will close its doors has many Byron residents reeling. It's just going to devastate us some more with this virus going on. Donald Murbach is a former Exelon employee. He worked at the Byron plant for 20 years and says he dealt with a similar situation in 1998 when the Exelon plant in Zion shut down. I worked there and made so many friends over the years. I took care of the cooling towers for those 20 years, and so I worked with the maintenance departments, you name it. Murbach thinks many employees who are close to retiring will most likely take the option. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people at the plant now that are going to retire just because they're old enough and they can, and so that'll ease the burden on them, but there's going to be a lot of people that aren't going to be able to replace the money they're making at the plant. Longtime Byron resident Robert Sund says it'll be a major loss for the community. We need to keep that open. We got to do our job. Right here in Byron, we can make a noise by keeping it open. So I'm asking the, the company that owns it uh, to reconsider and keep this plant open. We really need it. Murbach says the power the plant produced can't be replaced and believes the community will be heavily impacted by the decision. I think come summertime we're going to have problems with power. Um, we've got more windmills, we've got more solar energy, but I don't see it replacing the 2,500 megawatts that that plant re makes every day all day long. Exelon says it's working with employees on finding different work, work options for its employees. Some workers could be moved to other facilities. Eric. 